Hello FlossTube, it's Wayward Stitcher here and it is November the 30th and I thought I would do um, just a quick update for November since the video that I uploaded a few days ago was like from like the first week of October and I only recently just uploaded that because of the fact that <clears throat> I had um, had issues as I mentioned before and it was actually on YouTube but it just hadn't been like what do you want to say? It hadn't been published, so I had to publish it. So that's why, for some reason, it was like a really late video and yada yada. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I have my um, phone set up on my computer today, just so that, um, I don't have my tablet with me, it's not charged today, it's dead, and I have a few things online that I'd like to show you guys, so I'll just use my phone, turn it around, hope I don't make you guys sick or nothing, but that's how things have to be today, since I can't edit my videos at this point because I've just been having too much trouble um, <clears throat> in regards to, um, like I said, editing my videos and stuff like that. I was just checking YouTube for any uh, comments or anything on that video, but there is nothing. So, um, yeah, it's the end of November. When did that happen? I don't even know. Um, Christmas is like 25 days away. And I have most of my stitching, or stitching, most of my shopping done. And, um, yeah, there's not much left for me to do. I'm only buying for my parents and my girlfriend this year. I just don't have a lot of money, so that's how things are going to have to be. And that's also going to affect 2017, um, which is kind of what I want to talk about with you guys today. Um, my 2017 plans as of right now. Um... And then, yeah, so I will show you guys my whips, and then we'll discuss, I uh, have a finish, a new start, and we will talk about my um, 2017 plans, and I'm going to nerd out a little bit, because I got some stuff that I'm pretty excited about, um, so you'll have to bear with my nerdiness at the end of the video for a couple minutes. Um, so I think what I want to start with today is my uh, finish. Now, for those of you that m may or may not have seen this uh, video from October that was only posted a few days ago, will have seen that I was working on um, the working on a small project out of the 2016 Halloween edition of Just Cross Stitch, um, and that was Boo by Ursula Michaels. I finished that. I finished it like a day or two after Halloween, and here it is looking good and I put my initials like my real initials and the year in the top corner there um, yeah and I had a lot of fun doing with him so I think Ursula Michaels is definitely a designer I can see myself stitching more often because this was super fun and really quick and I stitched this on the 28 count even weave so yeah and it's uh, obviously two over one two over two sorry two over two for the cross stitches so that was fun and I really enjoyed that so that is my finish all the finishes that I've had this year have been relatively small I noticed well I mean except Electra she was kind of in the bigger category but doesn't matter um and then I want to show you guys my new start so this is where I'm gonna have to turn my phone around for those of you so that you can see um, what it is exactly that I have um, gotten and um, actually this is I'm not 100% sure if this is, no, this isn't a new acquisition since last time you guys, you guys know that I have this, I'm pretty sure. I won it in a giveaway, well not a giveaway, but like a game on Facebook, I'm pretty sure you guys knew this. Um, but I started Dra uh, Mini Dragon's Lair by Ann Stokes. The dog wants to sit in my lap. Come here, sweetheart. Here she is, puppy. So, um, she... I started the um, Dragon Lair, uh, Dragon's Lair by Ann Stokes, and I'll show that to you guys really quickly. Sorry for making you sick if I make you sick, but that is it. He's absolutely stunning, and I love it. So, I'm working on the first page of this pattern, and um, so far, I started this November the 2nd, I believe. 
November 3rd. I started this on the 3rd of November and I am already this far. Pardon the lighting in here. But I think you guys can see that. I'll stick something behind it so you can see better maybe. Yeah. Um, so this is how far I'm at and that is almost a half of a page. So I'm hoping to finish the rest of this column today and then move into the fourth column. So this is two and a half columns so far. And I'm stitching this on the 25 count Zweigart Lugana that I got from the thrift store. So I'm really loving it. I'm loving parking. It's a lot of fun. And I really can't wait to get a page finished. And I'm really hoping to have this page finished by the end of December or before Christmas at least. So there's that. And this dog is not settling down. Um... I realized that I left a whip in the drawer over there. I'm going to have to get it just to see it. Okie dokes. Sorry about that. So, um, the next thing that I want to show you guys is obviously my whips. I've only worked on two other projects besides my dragon since the last video that you guys saw. Excuse me, I haven't, um, yeah, I'm not sticking to any sort of rotation or anything like that right now. I'm just stitching on whatever I feel like stitching on and doing that. So, I'll show you guys next is my Joan Elliott Magic Dragon, or as you guys know him now as Merlin. I'm almost finished with Merlin, and this dog has to go on the floor. I'm sorry, sweetie. Mommy can't have you in her lap right now. I'm laying the crate. Um, I'm almost finished with him. I mean, like, there's still quite a bit of stitching to do, but I feel like I'm on the home stretch, to be honest. So, this is where Merlin is at now. So, I finished his tail, as you can see. I filled in one of the stars and got all this outer of outer part of the cloud done and his wing is finished so um I there was a spot here somewhere where was it now it was like down here these stitches were like really flat from being in the q-snap so I had to I frogged them and restitched them because I was not happy and I was afraid of them not popping back up when I ironed it because this is being stitched on um, hand-dyed fabric, I cannot wash it when it's finished. So I was really concerned about those stitches not popping back up. And um, I really didn't like them being so squished. So I just frogged them and redid it. Um, but yeah, I'm really, I really like that star. Um, so for those of you that may or may not have seen um, Merlin's original image, there is some wording here that says make a wish. And it's all done in backstitch and I think French knots. Um, I'm not 100% sure whether or not I will um, do that backstitching because I, I like Merlin the way he is right now. Um, and so we'll see. We shall see. So that is how far Merlin is at. And then, like I said, I'm really hoping to have him also finished by Christmas. Um, that's my goal with him is to be done by Christmas. Um, so we'll see. We'll definitely see. I think with the rate that I've been stitching on him lately, that's definitely a possibility. Um, so, and again, for those of you that don't know, that is being stitched on 14 count April showers by Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. Two over one with DMC. Um, where's his baggie? So that is a Merlin. Um, the next whip that I've worked on, I think, since you guys have seen, and that's the only other whip that I've started on um, or worked on since you guys have seen me last, is my Bambi's first year. So that's what it looks like. I know you guys have seen these a hundred times before, but oh well. It won't hurt for you to see it again. Now, I've gotten quite far on this since last time you guys saw it. 
you know, I was working up towards that one corner because I wanted to do the lightning bolt. Well, I certainly worked up to that corner and I got quite a bit in. And I also have an eagle. And he's awesome. I love my eagle. And my Bambi needle minder is from Nifty Needle Nannies. Which I got as a gift when I made my first purchase with with them, which was really awesome. So yeah, so I'm I'm really enjoying stitching on this. I was just so motivated to work on this for such a long time and that's all I felt like stitching on and that's all I worked on and it's really dirty um could stand a washing but I've been advised that uh washing it now would be a bad idea so I'm not gonna do that so this is gonna be a fairly short video guys just because like I don't have enough to show you really um so now I'll tell you guys about my um new acquisitions I was racked twice. Um, one by a fellow YouTuber. I'm not going to tell you who they are because they wanted to remain anonymous. So a fellow YouTuber racked me. Um, I came home from work one day and there was a package sitting on my kitchen table and I was like, but I didn't order anything. I don't get it. Little did I know somebody was sneaky and racked me. So I'm very grateful, very thankful. You know who you are, and I've already thanked you, like, probably a hundred times by now. So, once again, thank you so much. But, the pattern that I was gifted, if you guys can believe this, was Gigi from Nor Corbett. I'm mind blown. I'm so happy to have her, because I love her dress. I love her cat. I just love... I just love her. I think she's beautiful and I really can't wait to start her. And I already know from somebody else that stitched her, I'm pretty sure it was Calico that told me that these, or that said that these beads, these really big ones in her broom here are like a pain. We'll see what happens. So yeah, I love, um, I loved seeing Calico is all stitched up. So I really cannot wait to start this. And do it for myself because um, she did an amazing job with hers. So yeah, one ra one random act of kindness. Um, and then the second, um, I'm just gonna move my phone just to the side a bit. There we go. Um, and then the second rack that I got, if you guys will um, believe this, most of you, or I'm sure most of you, are part of the um, Heaven and Earth Designs Facebook page. And yesterday was Tuesday, the 29th, and it was the um, Random Act of Kindness Day or Random Act of Kindness Tuesday or something like that. And everybody in the Heaven and Earth Designs group, well, like probably not everybody, but a lot of people were um, racking people or offering to rack people that have never been racked before and all of that stuff. So I just, you know, made um, a few random comments in some people's posts saying, you know, I've never been racked before, but I really appreciate what you all are doing. And it's really nice of you to do something like that. So um, I think I posted like two or three different patterns from my wish list on separate, um, separate people's um, posts. And I get a message or, um, later in the day, I was doing a hangout with a friend of mine. And I got a message from Michelle from Heaven and Earth. Now, if you guys are on the Heaven and Earth designs, you know who Michelle is. She's like the owner of Heaven and Earth, right? So I get a message from her. And the message is the link to a download for one of the charts I had posted that I wanted. And I was like floored. I couldn't believe it. I was not expecting actually to get racked. I thought, well, you know put it out there that I think these are a couple of patterns that I really like and you know if people choose me that's great and if they don't that's also great it's whatever they're doing nice things for other people and that's super awesome <sighs> again with the animals hang on a second so so like I was saying I was really just appreciative for them doing things for other people so I wasn't really expecting a gift and if I didn't get a gift I would have been okay with that you know um 
and I would have participated myself, but at the time, like, I was literally, like, broke. I could not afford to rack other people. So I get this message from Michelle, and I'm like, oh my gosh, no way. And like I said, I was talking to this friend on a hangout, um, and she was like, what, what? And I was like, I was just messaged by Michelle over on Heaven and Earth Designs, and she sent me the download for a chart as a rack, like, what? <laughs> like, oh my gosh, Michelle has been so awesome, guys. So if you're not a part, like if you do have an Earth Designs, but you're not part of her Facebook page, I really suggest you get over there because not only her, but the rest of the people in that group are so wonderful. Like that is like wonderful just seems like not a good enough word. They are like super fantastic people. They're so giving and accepting and helpful and like I'm just really part really glad to be a part of that group I know I've said it before but I'll say it again time over and over and over um they are really amazing people so if you're not already a part of the group and you like hates or maybe you know you're not sure whether you should start one and you want some advice I suggest get over there and talk to them because they are very helpful and they're very nice people and I'm very very blessed to be part of that group but I want to show you guys the pattern that I was racked by Michelle. And it is a quick stitch. Um, and it is quick stitch wolf variant. Um, that bad boy. Isn't he gorgeous? Like, I can't even. I love wolves. For any of you that um, know me, know I love wolves. So I really can't wait to start that. Um, I'm just blown away, honestly. Um, so I know Michelle doesn't watch my videos. I'm pretty sure she doesn't, but I'll thank her on here anyway. Thank you, Michelle, for the lovely rack. You made my day. And, um, yeah, that was just, I couldn't, I couldn't believe that. Absolutely, absolutely mind blown. Um, before I get into my 2017 plans, I want to talk to you guys about my group that I'm in. I am one of the admins to a group called The Stitching Nest. Um, uh, me and a couple of friends of mine run it. And if you are interested in a group that does um, Google Hangouts, um, that are like really easygoing and full of accepting people, and you know, you just are looking for a really laid back, nice, quiet community join our group we are more than welcome to have you and we would love to have you um so yeah on facebook we are the stitching nest and um yeah we just we need more members so and like i said we do hangouts almost every day i usually will host one every day and if you don't know what google hangouts is look it up it's basically like a skype call between yourself and other people from the stitching group um but it's only like to a maximum of 10 people or something like that. So we can have more private ones where, you know, if you're a little more shy and you don't want to be around as many people, let us know. We'll try to accommodate you the best we can kind of thing. So just, yeah, it's a really amazing group. I've already made like a few new friends that I absolutely adore um, and love spending time with every day on these hangouts. So really, I... I like urge you <laughs> to join our group you'll you won't regret it I tell you we are it's run by really really awesome people um so I yeah I just wanted to put that in there um but the reason why I mentioned that group was because one of the members of the group who I'm now I feel good friends with um I was having an issue one day both of us were having issues um, with our projects and she had to frog some of hers and I'm like oh no that's terrible like that's really awful I feel for you and then lo and behold not even two minutes after she mentioned that she has to rip some of her stitches out I'm looking at my project I was stitching on uh, Bambi's first year at the time and I'm like oh crap really like why did you have to talk about the frog now he's at my house and she's like what do you mean and I'm like apparently I stitched this one section in the wrong color and ugh and she's like, seam ripper. I was like, what? Seam ripper? She's like, yeah, 
it's better than scissors and a needle like I would usually like lift the stitches with my needle and try to stick my scissors under there and snip it yeah nightmare right well she told me about the seam ripper and I was like why do I feel like my grandma would have had a seam ripper so um I'm going to close this I'm getting such bad glare on my glasses I apologize guys that's better um I was like, why do I feel like my grandma would have had something along those lines of like a seam ripper? So I went to, um, my grandma's passed. She passed in, uh, 1999. So she's been gone for a while, but we still held on to her like sewing kit, like her really big sewing kit. I'm like, I really feel like she would have one of these seam ripper things. So I run in there and I pull this thing out and I get this thing that kind of looks like a tampon. <laughs> Come on, guys. It looks like a tampon. Let's not lie here. Uh, <laughs> so I picked it up, and I'm like, why do I feel like this is a seam ripper? So I opened it up, and I'm like, oh, wow. Why does that look like a seam ripper to me? Why does that look like something I could stick under my stitches and rip them out? So I brought it back. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I think I have one. I think I have one. And it helped me so much. It was so much faster than using my scissors. I tell you right now. If you don't have a seam ripper, get one. So helpful. I will swear by this thing now. And it's going in my kit. And if I, I might actually like go out and purchase a second one for traveling. Just so that I have one at home and one in my like to-go bag kind of thing. So seam ripper. Every stitcher must have one. I promise you, you wouldn't regret having one. Because I don't regret it. I love it. Only had to use it once since I was told about it. But still. Um, yeah. So. Now that I'm done talking about that. Excuse me. Excuse me. I want to talk about my 2017 plans. Um, so. I want to do a stitch from stash next year. Um. That being said, I have several things here at home that are either started and need to be finished or that I can start anytime I want because I have, like, most of the materials for that stuff. Um, so I'm thinking um, I've got the, the charts picked out and what I might do before now and Christmas is go shopping and buy all the materials that I need for said projects for next year and then be all well on my way. So... Um, and I know going out to buy, like, you know, floss and all that kind of stuff isn't really stitching from stash, but if I don't already have it in my stash, I need to have it in my stash for next year. So, I mean, purchasing a little bit of thread and stuff is nothing compared to, like, having to buy whole new kits and fabric and all this stuff. Like, I have the patterns, I have some projects here, we'll talk about that. So, I think, um, my, f uh, f my friend Diane and I, um... Last year, we did the sal together with um, Electra and Gwen, the Nora Corbett Bewitching Pixies. And I think this year we're going to do it again um, because now I have Gigi. I might be stitching Gigi, and I think she wants to stitch Electra now. So I think January 1st, the two of us are going to start that. Um, as And as far as I know, I do have some fabric coming in for Gigi. So you guys probably won't see that until like after Christmas kind of thing. Because I think I might do another video either before Christmas, like shortly before Christmas or after Christmas and before the new year. And then that will be my last video until 2017. So Gigi, probably January 1st, um, provided I can get all the supplies and everything I need for her before then. If not, then I'll have to wait. But yeah, my friend Diane and I are wanting to do that. And then for Halloween next year, um, yeah, for Halloween next year, I want to start, um, Trick or Treat by, uh, Lena Lost in Needle Arts. And that is, if you guys remember when I purchased him, something got on here. I'm not even sure what that is. But anyway, he's really nice. Um, and I think I do have fabric here for him. I might use a, um, just some scraps of that um, 25 count uh, Lugana that I have that I'm stitching my Heaven and Earth designs on. I still have lots of that left, so I might just stitch him on that versus buying new fabric. It's a, it's a it's like a creamy colored fabric. I'm sure he'll look nice on it. So 
I'm hoping to do this and to have it done by Halloween next year. So this will be a new start next year. Not sure like what day I'll start it, but that is something I want to stick to next year for sure. Um, another new start that I want to do, um, I'm going to try to do something for the holidays, like the main holidays, obviously, like maybe, maybe one for Easter. I haven't gotten everything planned out yet, guys, but I'm like kind of planned. So I just wanted to show you guys what I have planned. And then once I can actually sit down and like work it out, then I'll, I'll show that to you guys in a fuller scale, maybe in the new year. Um, so the next thing that I want to start next year is a Christmas pattern. And this is um, Father Christmas by Leslie Tier, and it's from the Cross Stitch Gold February 2011 issue. So that's him, and I really am excited to start him. I think he's gorgeous. And now this, I do have all the fabric and metallics and beads and everything that I need to start him. I'm going to stitch him on 14 count Ada, white Ada, just, you know, what he's stitched on in the picture. And I do, like I said, I have some Kranich, and I have some PTB, and I have, you know, other... Um, stuff and I have do have some gold beads so that's really all he needs is is Kranich and gold beads so he's pretty much you know kitted up and ready to go basically aside from um colors and then if I don't get these done before next year I want to finish these two projects which are works of fan art just so that you guys are well aware I'm hoping in the next few days, maybe in the next, like the first week of December or something, I can sit down and finish Jupiter. There's really not much left for me to stitch on her because, you know, like I said, she's, she's, um, pretty much done. I just have to sit down and fill that in and frog this obviously and restitch that, but there she's almost finished. So I'm hoping either if I don't finish her this year, I really definitely want to have her finished like early next year. So that is um, also a plan for 2017, if not done this year. And then the next whip that I have that I want to do and get finished next year was something that I was stitching for a friend that I don't talk to anymore. Um, and it's something that I created myself from a video game sprite. I believe it's from Final Fantasy. Um, I'm not sure what it's called. It's a summon of some sort from one of the earlier Final Fantasy games, but it's this. She's like a blue lady with wings and a staff. I don't even know. Anyway, I had this started, and it's been sitting in my whip pile probably for a couple of years now, so I really want to finish this. And if any of you are video game freaks and know Final Fantasy, you might know what this is, or I, I don't even remember. I really don't. But she's pretty because she's got blue and stuff on her, so... You know, I might just finish her up and, and gift her to somebody someday that I know likes Final Fantasy. We'll see. Because I have no reason to keep it for myself, to be honest. I mean, it's just another one of those things that's going to end up in a drawer somewhere and never get touched after it's finished, right? Because it was originally for a friend, but we don't talk anymore, so there's that. Um, and then the next whip that I want to hopefully get done next year sometime... I hope the picture's in this bag, because if it's not, I'm going to cry. Um, oh, it is. It is my Elegant Geisha by Dimensions. So I have her started. To me, you might remember her. Maybe you might not. But so far, this is where I am with her. Oh, gosh. I need the, the paper this is where I am with her. And for reference, oh, sorry, for reference, I'm kind of just working the back of the kimono there. So she's going to be a whip that I hope to finish next year for sure. She's an older whip of mine. Not really old, probably started within the last two years, but I really do want to get her done. She's a small stitch, so it really shouldn't take that long. And then... The next whip I want to do next year and hopefully get finished, this is for Mother's Day. If you remember the whip that I was doing for my mom, pardon me, for those of you that remember, I was stitching a dimensions kit for my mom, I was trying to do it for Mother's Day last year and it never got done. Um, it is Garden Gate by Dimensions, this lovely one that's like three quarters half stitch. Yeah, 
So I'll show you guys where I am with that really quick. I'm farther than I think I am, I know. Every time I pull it over, I'm like, oh yeah. So, um, let me just put the pattern in behind it so that I can show it to you guys. So this is so far where I'm at with this. So, actually quite a bit. Um, it's most of the archway. Um, so, yeah. It's really, once I get going on it, I probably will finish it in no time. But yeah, I, I haven't really, um, haven't worked on it that much. I've been, I've kind of honestly forgot about it. And I can tell you now that everything in here is half stitched so far. None of this is full stitch. Every single last one of these stitches is half stitch. So... It really shouldn't take me that long. The only stuff that's really full stitch on this pattern is a few of the flowers in the bottom and in that basket there. You get the daffodils and stuff. So that really shouldn't, if I sat down and really just, you know, hauled butt on it, I would probably get it done within a couple of weeks, probably, realistically. And then the last thing that I hope to, it'll be a new start for next year um, and hopefully finish, is a project that I hope to do for my girlfriend. And if you remember, um, I did purchase this kit for her. It's the Wise Owl by Dimensions. He's a pretty handsome boy, girl, whatever. <laughs> You know, we had that discussion before. So I haven't started this, obviously. So, and there's a lot of half stitch in this as well. So it shouldn't really take too, too long. I think the only part that's really full stitch is the owl himself and the branch that it's on. So, um, yeah. So that, so far, as of right now, is my 2017 plans. And in those plans may or may not include my Sam Winchester piece. We'll see. Um... I really do love my Sam Winchester piece, but at the same token, if I'm really focused and really and I'm enjoying my Heaven and Earth designs, I'm probably not going to put my Sam Winchester piece in there just because. It's like a lot of full coverage. And I don't think I can like put myself into my into those shoes where I work on all these full coverage pieces. Might drive myself crazy. Um, anyway, so that's it for stitching. But I'm going to nerd out for a couple seconds, guys. Totally going to nerd out. Um, for any of you <laughs> that already follow me, know that I'm a lover of Pokemon. Well, I um, purchased Pokemon Sun. I'm excited about it. I really haven't gotten too far in it yet. Um, a couple of hours, but some of those couple... Of, like, I would say most of that couple of hours is me leveling up my Pokemon and training them. So, I'm kind of on the fence about how I feel about it. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys, but it's really different from the other Pokemon games. Like, I mean really different. So, it's taking some getting used to, but I, I do like it. I just haven't really gotten so far into it to determine whether or not I will spend the money to buy Moon as well. So, we'll see. There's that. Pokemon. The other video game that I just purchased that I am so excited about is hold on to your pants, Final Fantasy lovers, because I bought Final Fantasy 15 and that is some serious rainbow glare. Wow. <laughs> this cover is friggin' amazing. Like, I can't even show it to you without my computer having a fit. It is so shiny. Holy moly. <laughs> It is like totally metallic. Um, this is amazing. I got the day one edition. I did not pre-order this game. So I just pretty much walked into Walmart and walked out with it. Um, but um, in the back, it's still kind of shiny. My computer is crazy. Taking all that glare. But yeah, I, uh, I'm excited about this. Um... And it came with this super awesome controller skin that I'm going to, like, instantly put on my, uh, controller as soon as I get the chance. But I'm really excited about this game. I 
can tell you out of most of the video games that I follow, Final Fantasy 15, excuse me, is one of those games that I barely know anything about. I didn't, I didn't look for, I didn't see many spoilers. I saw a minimal amount of gameplay on it. Um, I don't really know a whole lot about the story. Um, so this game is basically like 100% new to me. Like I know nothing about it, next to nothing about it. Except I know that it's a very open world concept game. Some, it That's what I understand. And with Pokemon, a lot of that was spoiled for me. So I think that's part of the reason why I'm not as excited about it as I am about Final Fantasy. But that's it, guys. My nerdiness. Um, if there's any of you out there that um, play the Pokemon Sun or are going to play Final Fantasy XV and want to talk about it, hit me up. I'll talk about it. I'll talk about video games all day, every day. Let's be honest. I could talk about Pokemon all day, every day. Um, so, yeah, that's it. So far, those are my plans, my whips, my new starts, my racks, everything. Um, and I'm sure I'll show you guys all this lovely stuff I get for Christmas. So uh, maybe you might not see a new video until after Christmas when I get my uh, Christmas gifts. Because I know I've got a, a couple coming from some friends um, and my girlfriend. So... That's it for now, guys. I hope you have a wonderful stitchy week or month or however long it is again until I see you again. And always remember to be kind to one another and ignore the haters. There's a lot of that going on I'm, I'm hearing. So just remember to love everybody, love each other, support each other. You know, we're all in this stitchy community together. Um, there's no reason or any need for drama and and negativity you know we're this awesome open community um with so many people that are so giving and so thoughtful like let all of that outweigh the bad please let it outweigh the bad because those people that make rude comments and and like bash people's youtube channels they're the ones that have the problem not us so just remember that um, keep your heads up, guys. Don't let, don't let minor, don't let people like that get you down because they don't matter. Um, they really don't. And I need to remember that myself. Just remember that, um, you are who you are and that should be enough. And other people's opinions of you really shouldn't matter. Other people's opinions of your content really shouldn't matter. You know, like the negative comments, I mean like the negative stuff anybody has to say, that's their problem, it has nothing to do with you. So just keep on doing what you're doing and keep on loving each other and just, you know, we're all in this together. We're the best community there is, I think. This is the best community I'm part of, for sure. And, um, yeah, if I don't see you guys before Christmas, I hope you all have a wonderful holiday, and I'll see you next time. Bye!